In the year 1561, the ruling Spanish government was persecuting the Protestants of Belgium. The streets were lit by the torches of Spanish soldiers who were rounding up those who the Roman Catholics had labeled as lawbreakers. Guido de Bray was careful not to attract attention as he hurried to arrive home. The persecution was getting worse. Guido had witnessed an entire family burned the state. He knew that something must be done or King Philip II would bring an end to the Reformed faith, Belgium, Holland altogether. He reached his home and went to his desk where he determined to write up a confession of the Reformed faith that would bring unity to the scattered and torn churches of the Netherlands and Belgium and also show Philip that the Protestants were law-abiding citizens. But Guido soon fell under the all-seeing eye of the Catholic government. This forced him to disguise himself whenever he left home and to use an alias. He became known only as Jerome. Finally, the confession was complete. Sticking to the shadows, Jerome slid silently into the Spanish sentries and made his way to the governor's palace. In his hand, Guido clutched a copy of the confession and a letter begging for mercy. Once at the palace wall, he threw them both over it, hoping that the governor would find them and show them to Philip. But all was in vain. Guido's confession and letter had no visible impact on the Spanish but only made them hunt him down more vehemently. He was soon caught and imprisoned in a cell known as the Black Hole. But as Guido sat in prison, as he was questioned and tortured, his spirits rose in spite of his dismal circumstances. He saw no one until one day a princess came to marvel at his awful condition. Guido was not the wretched, distraught prisoner that she expected, but was at peace and even joyful. He told her, it is guilt that makes the chain heavy. Innocence makes my chains light. I glory in them as my badges of honor. The princess left, and Guido remained in prison until 1567. That morning, the guards came and took Guido to the gallows. As Guido walked to the platform, he began to pray for and to preach to his captors. Even as the rope was lowered around his neck, Guido was proclaiming God's faithfulness. Guido debris was hung. His life was not a happy one by human standards, but this man lived and died for God's truth. He left for us his greatest work, one of the most powerful confessional documents of all time, the Belgic Confession.